Yeah, all right. Shalom, shalom. Wa asha shaba to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, Kal Halal Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, GMS, who rule and teach Yahshua Allah well through the Spirit, leading the flock by example. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the Akim, pushing its words sincere, sincerely and honesty, in all honesty, throughout the four corners of this world, risking the life of Yahweh Bahasham Yahshua's sake. Adwan Ratazah, which means Lord willing. No, so Lord willing, this blessing is edifying. So, uh, as you know, or as you may know, yesterday over here in the UK was Mother's Day. Okay. All right. So, you know, and this this is a popular, you know, holiday that that they have. You know, around the world, in America, UK, wherever, wherever. All right. Which, you know, has nothing to do with the scriptures whatsoever, and our people have no business partaking and celebrating this this holiday okay but as usual you know you're going to see our people so-called blacks hispanics and Native americans who are the true biblical hebrew israelites you know basically <coughs> you know spending lavish amounts of money on their woman which you know it's not wrong to treat your woman and stuff like that your wife all right but to you know commemorate a whole day on you know, on something like this, and to go all out with it, you know, you, it's like you're, you're worshipping your woman and putting her first, okay, and to be fair, you know, those who, you know, mothers are still alive, still around, you know, you, you're meant to honour your mother all the time, and not just leave it to a, <laughs> a special day, okay. So let me get a uh, <coughs> scripture in the uh, in the law. Exodus chapter twenty verse twelve: Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord Yahweh thy power giveth thee. Okay. What are the commandments? Supposed to honor your parents. Okay. By doing so, you you obedience them, okay. You know that's how you sh uh, you know demonstrate your love, of course. All right. So um, <coughs> to get into this article from History dot com about Mother's Day, we'll go to the history of it. So uh. Mother's Day is a holiday honoring motherhood that is observed in different forms throughout the world. Okay, in the United States, Mother's Day, twenty twenty three, will occur on Sunday, May the fourteenth. Right, so it's on a different date than it is over in the UK. The American incarnation of Mother's Day was created by Anna Jarvis in nineteen oh eight and became an official U.S. holiday in nineteen forty. You see, so this wicked philosophy, this wicked Babylonian wine, has spread throughout the four corners of the world. That everywhere. All right, most countries around the world celebrate this. They might have different forms of it, celebrate it on different days, but nonetheless, okay, it's a high holiday that these nations adopt. Okay, so it says Jarvis would later denounce the holiday's commercialization and spent the latter part of her life trying to remove it from the calendar. While dates and celebrations vary, Mother's Day traditionally involves presenting mums with flowers, cards, and other gifts. Okay. If we go to the history of Mother's Day, celebrations of the mothers and motherhood can be traced back to the ancient Greeks and Romans who held festivals in honour of the mother goddess or goddesses Rhea and Sybil. But the clearest modern precedent for Mother's Day is the early Christian festival known as Mothering Sunday. Again, nothing to do okay. with the scriptures. Nothing to do with the scriptures whatsoever. Bear with me. Alright. <clears throat> you know, and, you know, Esau promotes this, uh, you know, this wicked holiday, man, in his wicked queendom. That's what it is, all right. This queen of heaven worship, all right. You know, queen of heaven. You know, and Jeremiah spoke about this, all right. Queen of heaven, the children gather wood, and the fathers 
kindle the fire and the women need their dough to make cakes for the queen of heaven to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke me to anger all right and we know that yahweh bashim yahweh is a jealous power okay so you're not supposed to have any of the idols nor gods before him all right So it's done in honor of Goddess Rhea, of Sybil. No. <clears throat> okay, so this is what you're worshipping when you celebrate Mother's Day, when you partake in it. Okay. Do a little quick read upon this from Wikipedia Rhea mythology. All right, Rhea is a mother goddess in ancient Greek religion and Greek mythology, the titanous daughter of the earth goddess Gaia and sky goddess Uranus, himself a son of Gaia. All right, so these are all these Greek gods that go back to again paganism, man, like, like Zeus and Hades, the king of the underworld. Okay. Let me get into the <coughs> scripture. Because the thing is, is that our people, alright, are rebellious. And we have our own high holidays. Alright. But they'd rather follow, follow the heathen. Okay. Exodus chapter 23 verse 2 Thou shalt not follow a multitude Right Everybody in this world The majority of them Rather Okay All these heathens Alright To do evil Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline After many to rest judgment Alright because right, this world hates Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Okay. It established its own righteousness. Okay, contrary to the law, statutes, and commandments found in the Bible. And upholds that and pushes that as the righteous thing to do. Okay. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9, which reads. That this is the rebellious people. In fact, I'll put that up. Verse 8. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book. Right? The book is the Bible. That it may be for the times to come forever and ever. That this is the rebellious people. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord Yahweh. Okay. They don't want nothing to do with this man. They don't want nothing to do with seeking their power. Repenting. Following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Again, they'd rather just <coughs> go along to get along, go along with this world. Okay, and be and be content with that. Be content in Esau Edom's kingdom. Alright, being at the bottom. Okay. And just, you know, not caring. Alright. Leviticus chapter 23. Verse 1, And the Lord Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Yahshua'al, and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy conversations, even these are my feasts, right? And, you know, if you continue to read the chapter, yeah, right, you'll find, <coughs> all right, our feast days, all right? And Mother's Day is certainly not one of them. Okay, so let's go back to this uh, history on Mother's Day. Right. So it says once a major tradition in the United Kingdom and parts of Europe, this celebration fell on the fourth Sunday in Lent. Again, Lent's got nothing to do with Bible, and was originally seen as a time when the faithful would return to their mother church, right, the main church in the vicinity of their home, for a special service. And the word church just goes back to the Greek word ecclesia, which means called out. Okay, so congregation of Israelite men called out, and they certainly. Right, wasn't partaking of this. Alright, our forefathers didn't know anything about it on Mother's Day. 
So it says, over time, the Mothering Sunday tradition shifted into a more secular holiday and children would present their mothers with flowers and other tokens of appreciation. This custom eventually faded in popularity before merging with the American Mother's Day in 1930. Sorry. Okay. And this goes into a bit more history on Anna Jarvis. Okay. Yeah, this seems good. Mother's Day around the world. While versions of Mother's Day are celebrated worldwide, traditions vary depending on the country. In Thailand, for example, Mother's Day is always celebrated in August on the birthday of the current queen. Sirikit. Okay. Right, and you know, birthdays are wicked, man. Right, that's idolatry, self-worship. Another alternate observance of Mother's Day can be found in Ethiopia, where families gather each fall to sing songs and eat a large feast as part of Anthroshed, a multi-day celebration honouring motherhood. Okay. Again, when you celebrate this, when you partake in any of these uh, false, you know, this false god. Alright. In the United States, Mother's Day uh, continues to be celebrated by presenting mothers and other women with gifts and flowers. And it has become one of the biggest holidays for consumer spending, you see. Right, so, you know, <laughs> you got a lot of people out here, a lot of men, who are simping for their women. Alright, and again, I'm not saying you can't, you know, uh, treat your, <coughs> your partner, your wife, alright? But to go overboard and, you know, run yourself into debt <laughs> over one day, okay? <laughs> to spend on your, your wife or to, you know, buy many expensive gifts for your mother or whatever the case may be that that's off all right completely families also celebrate by giving mothers the day off activities like cooking or other household chores all right and what the scriptures say about <coughs> women and their roles all right Because the modern day women, due, especially due to feminism, has corrupted, corrupted their minds. Okay, they'd rather they've got all this liberty to get abroad, do as they please. Uh, times two. All right, everything in society is given to them. Right, Titus chapter two, verse three. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behaviour as becoming ho becometh holiness, not false accusers. Accusers, so back here not given too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, right, to love their husbands, to love their children. Okay, I think that's the one I wanted. Right, verse 5, that's it. To be discreet, chaste, keepers at home. Okay, you know, looking after the family, like the children. Alright. And being in subject under the man, under a husband, over a head. Alright, because the head of the woman is the man and the head of the man is Yahweh Shai and the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh the Heavenly Father okay obedient to their own husbands that the word of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai be not blasphemed okay but nowadays it's rare to find that type of uh, one of those type of women okay let's go back to that article Right, you know, so families you know, celebrate Mother's Day a day from a day off from activities like cooking or other household chores. All right, and then pre presented with all these gifts and flowers. Okay. <laughs> you know, and this this you know this uh holiday, day, all right, it'll also be an excuse to you know to. <laughs> go out and be all mirthful and party and to, and to sleep around best believe all right and again our people right will fight us tooth and nail right to defend this this wicked uh, holiday all right after all they're all stiff hearted all right get a uh,
So I write chapter 25 verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Alright. You know, so Eve, right back in the garden, was the one who transgressed. Alright, and then caused Adam to commit sin. Okay. And whenever you have women in authority, in authoritative positions, alright, best believe it's heading to destruction. Okay. And having, again, the women at the focal point, the pinpoint, at the top. Okay, that's going <coughs> to, that's, that's heading down the wrong road, man. Alright. You know. You know, try telling this wicked and adulterous generation, alright. telling them this so it says at times Mother's Day has also been a date for launching political or feminist causes right so there you go so everything to support the woman everything to you know you know to give them laws to give them you know a good high top hedgeway in society all right to give them more you know freedom to, to give them liberty all right so at times, Mother's Day has also been a date for launching political or feminist causes. In 1968, Coretta Scott King, wife of Martin Luther, King, Martin Luther King Jr., used Mother's Day to host a march in support of underprivileged women and children. In the 1970s, women's groups also used the holiday as a time to highlight the need for equal rights and access to childcare. Okay, you know, and <coughs> you know now, okay, you know they're, they're exalting that further. Alright, absolutely. If that's the, t uh, <coughs> you know, the times that we're in, I want, I want. Alright, all this feminism and voting and women's rights and, and things of that nature. Alright, that's all backwards. So uh, let's get. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1 you notice the subheading as satire and idolatry okay so this is <coughs> Jeremiah speaking to the Israelites hear you the word which the Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai speaketh unto you O house of Yahshua Allah thus saith the Lord Yahweh learn not the way of the heathen okay and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen are dismayed at them I just don't Alright, we're meant to be separate, Kodash, holy. Alright, we're meant to, <coughs> you know, follow Yahabah Shem Yashai. Not these other nations, not partake in their ways, their customs, their mannerisms. Alright. How they conduct themselves on earth. Alright. Because their ways are wicked and idolatrous. Alright, and we know that our power, Yahweh, right, is a jealous power. So when you take on these uh, heathenistic customs, such as this, you know, Father Day, Mother's Day, you're worshipping a false deity because it's attached to it. That's the pagan festival. Of course, it's a pagan, you know, God deity right, that's attached to this uh, festival, whether you know it or not. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'm going to leave that there. You know, so with that, again, double honours to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach the nation of Israel well. With that, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kakudash. With that, Shalom. And if it's your first time watching this channel, repent if you're a Hebrew Israelite, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, especially for you new brothers and sisters coming in. So with that, Kwame Asherala, Wa Ababa Ball. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom to the elect.